All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna go over my Custom 7 WSM build. Why we built it, the why behind the design, and why we chose the caliber. Here we go. All right, so let's start from the top. So here we have Travis's four port titanium brake. He calls this the ghost brake, and it weighs just one ounce. It's a phenomenal brake, does a great job at recoil reduction. It is noisy though, so you're gonna need earplugs. Next, we got a 24 inch proof carbon fiber barrel, 1 8 twist, Y carbon, carbon dissipates heat. It's up to 50% lighter than traditional barrels. And it's, it's gonna group better, it's stiffer, and it's gonna last longer in my opinion. All right, next we have the A3 adjustable with edge fill, Travis's custom hardware here. This also has a Arca rail here. So if you need to build a shooting position to gain more elevation, this is a great rail system to put in a tripod. Now moving to the action, this is a Lone Peak Razor tit titanium action. You're gonna save a half pound over uh, their, their steel action. So there's savings there. We got a Trigger Tech special trigger there all topped off with a loophole Mark V, 5 to 25 by 56, and MRAD TMR reticle. Uh, Hawkins Precision Rings with an integrated bubble there. And it's just nice to be able to have that bubble there on top. You level your cant and so on and so forth. Now, what you're thinking is, why spend all the extra money in lightweight titanium components when this gun isn't that lightweight? Why'd you put a Mark V on it when you could have pulled a, put a VX5 or a VX6 on it? I wanted a gun that was more shootable in the midweight build versus ultra lightweight. And any time that you can put together a midweight build with lightweight components, you're just gonna build that much better of a rifle. So, now is this a, a sheep hunting rifle? No, but is this a great mule deer and elk rifle? Absolutely. And I wanted to talk about the 1.8 twist real quick. So I built my own custom load for this rifle and I wanted to be able to test anything from 175 ELDXs, 180 ELDMs, all the way up to 190 A-tips. And for whatever reason, the 190 A-tips shot the best out of this barrel. Now the M's and the A-tips are very similar in the fact that they're, they're drawn out the same. The main difference being that the A-tip has an aluminum tip versus the heat shield polymer tip that the ELDM has. So there you have it, my custom. 7 WSM build. Let's go ahead and weigh it. Like I said, it's a mid-weight build. This scope weighs 30 ounces. You could save a couple other places. You could take the adjustable hardware out, save a half pound there. You could save another 10, 12 ounces on the scope. But this is how I built it for what I wanted it for. So let's go ahead and weigh it. All right, here we go. Ten pounds, one point two ounces. There you have it. Ten pounds, one point two ounces. My custom seven WSM. This thing's a hammer. Watch it hammer this bull right here. Subscribe to us right here. Leave us a comment on what you think. I've tried a twenty-eight nozzler now. I tried a seven mag, and tried a seven WSM. This bike might be my new favorite. Seven millimeter.